hi my dear youtube fragrance friends welcome to my channel today i want to show you <clears throat> what i was wearing throughout my day so i got from my particular selection of the perfumes which are most likely middle eastern perfumes so i got this perfume i took it from my shelves guys um, vibrant leather for her by zara zara perfumes guys i discovered maybe one year or maybe two years ago because of the cheapness and um, you know i thought for that amount of the price you can buy a lot of perfumes in all like in one go so i bought i purchased quite a lot and one of them was this one the reason why because i quite enjoyed Enjoy that vibrant leather for man version you know but um, also I wanted to try ladies version too so that that one guys is vibrant leather for her the bottle is beautiful I paid like 19.99 or something like that uh, now they made another bottle they have another bottle the, the bottle that they have now it looks a bit different it looks like rounded you know and i'm not sure if it's the same but what's the experience of wearing this perfume so this one is kind of leathery they they call it as a leathery type of uh, cheap cheaper cheaper which means kind of floral type of maybe fruity you know so fruity floral and with maybe tiny bit of leather but not as much as for man for man you know like that vibrant leather for man is mm, kind of um kind of uh, has that type of feeling but this one is kind of more uh, created feminine you know so um, the longevity was medium like for example as for right now guys i feel like i need to simply respray it you know respray it myself again you know the reason guy why i went with um with the zara perfume and not with middle eastern perfume is because maybe you know i already used you know quite a lot middle eastern perfumes and i wanted just to you know to go back to see if i have anything simple like i wanted sometimes like a simple perfume you know uh previously guys i was using uh eccentric molecules you know i was using uh, that molecule 04 molecule 01 as well and um, with molecule 01 i got compliment again and again and again with molecule 04 or 04 i never got compliment guys yet but they they molecules guys eccentric molecules they are very very type of um, they are very very uh quality perfumes and you can feel it when you wear it uh, then middle eastern perfumes are kind of uh, quality too but you can also feel sometimes cheapness in them depending on what perfume you wear but uh, middle eastern perfumes can give you like a you know like a uh, compliments depending on what you wear and they can make you feel cozy depending on what you wear they can also make you feel uh, kind of middle eastern perfumes they can make you feel a bit um, too much you know sometimes if you are wearing some kind of like a oody oody perfume uh, but today guys i wanted to use this particular simple simple perfume and uh, basically i wanted to use guys this particular perfume and to see how i feel so i felt as if i'm wearing some kind of perfume that is not like a designer perfume uh, it wasn't similar to anything you know maybe let's say you know that uh, azaro mademoiselle would be similar similar which you probably don't know but um, so this one is kind of fruity acidic acidic perfume it's as if there would be some kind of black currant you know maybe tiny bit of leather tiny bit of black black currant um, you know did i let me let me just feel it again kind of floral like as if there would be some kind of rose but there is no rose you know you know that type of acidic feeling acidic feeling that that it, it gives you mm, uh, acidic type of perfume you know acidic and sweet perfume but pleasant at the same time you know very very pleasant guys so um, am i happy with this particular perfume there's no lights isn't it am i happy guys with this perfume um kind of in in between there are worse perfumes from zara you know there are much worse so this one is in the good type of perfume category there from zara but uh, i'm kind of a bit bored of zara perfumes at the moment and whenever i look you know let's say to buy something else from zara when i see comparison kind of it makes me want not to buy let's say they they make some kind of dupes you know maybe and let's say they have some kind of probably dupe of 
maybe Carolina Herrera or something, which I don't like that girl, Carolina Herrera. So it doesn't make me want to buy it, you know, as well. Um, those other perfumes, they have some kind of vibrant, cit vibrant cities perfume range. Like maybe one day I will try something, but all of my Zara perfumes at the moment are at the back of my shelves, like Gardenia, and I don't use it that much. And I don't even kind of, tend to use it you know I don't because maybe longevity is not great and they're kind of linear they don't you know open up in some kind of beautiful beautiful you know fantastic way or anything like that uh, this perfume vibrant leather for her is not bad guys it's not bad I hope I wonder if there is still a chance to buy particular this one in that particular shape because now there is another bottle so it's kind of um, how to say to you um, it wouldn't smell like Carolina Herrera, this one. It's kind of floral, sweet, you know, type of acidic and feminine. Would be, this one would be better than, let's say, than, uh, let's say, Zara Gardenia. Better than many of them. But at the same time, I don't think Zara perfume is better than Middle Eastern perfumes. I don't think so. I don't think so, you know. Uh, but if you, let's say, want to give it a go to that one, you can give it a go. And the bottle is beautiful and just a bit heavy, you know, but that bottle is very, very nice. Mm, I like the way it looks. It was 20 euro. It wasn't like 10 euro, guys. It was 20 euro. It's one of the be maybe be better perfumes that they have there, but still not impressive enough to see to say that, oh, I really, really love this perfume. Like, like it's not enough to say that it's one of my best perfumes that I ever tried. And it's far, far, it's far, far from that, you know. It's just simply some kind of perfume with the type of you know his own type of smell and which very easily can be you know boring if you would wear it every single day but there are many other perfumes from Zara that can be even much more easily to get bored like Zardinia Gara, uh, Gardinia by Zara you know like Gardinia I got bored very quick I got bored with Mimosa Cloud you know which I considered quite good before, you know, I considered it quite good. Uh, I, and those like, let's say, um, Pamplemousse, there is this Pamplemousse, which is nice, kind of fresh, but doesn't last at all, you know. And there are many others that basically, not enough, guys, to say that, that I'm really, really impressed or anything like that, you know. So that's the thing, guys, about those particular perfumes. I'm really uh, struggling to, to understand what I will purchase next, guys. Because from the least in perfumes, I already bought the cheapest ones that is possible to buy, you know. Next range of Middle Eastern perfume is the Rasasi brand, which is more expensive, you know. So, you know, how many perfumes you can buy, you know. 400 euro maybe three perfumes uh, let's see guys what i will decide i don't know the cheapest brands from ardels from at least brands were latafa and ardel safran you know and al rehab too so i got most of them now not all but most of them and i really don't know what's my next pathway guys zara perfumes i could buy but uh, as i said it wasn't impressing me that much uh, you know so um, because of that uh, possibility of being bored too quick uh, let me know what's your experience should i spray one more time for you let me see spray one more time just to finish the day i think people felt this perfume on me maybe you know but uh, as let's say nobody nobody guys nobody gave me any compliment because it's just simply far away from get, getting any compliment with wearing Zara perfumes is too far away and I wouldn't give compliments myself if I would feel somebody wearing that one I would just simply feel maybe it's kind of pleasant maybe not but that's the type of feeling that it, it gets you know it's maybe better than if you wouldn't wear any perfumes of course you know mm. this perfume is not heavy it's kind of good maybe in summer you know or if you wear in winter it makes you feel kind of maybe type of clean but it's not white florals you know i hope that i helped you in some kind of way uh let me know guys what do you think about vibrant leathers from zara all of vibrant leathers i have vibrant leather for man i have you know that original i have vibrant leather oud as well which is very nice and there are this one is for her for woman and then there are many other ones which i haven't discovered yet i will say guys goodbye to you i wish you know you will have a fantastic day i hope i helped you in some kind of way and uh, bye bye guys have a beautiful day see you soon see you soon